Hello, and thanks for joining. My name is Helen Hussain. I'm a customer engineer for Chrome Browser for Enterprise. I work with various enterprise customers and help out with any technical questions or challenges that come out of implementing Chrome in an enterprise environment. If you're listening live and have any questions, please submit them below and we will be able to answer them live during this session. Today, I'm going to talk about the importance of the service desk, some of the frequently asked Chrome support questions, and I'll help show you some of the features that you can leverage in your organization. To get started, let's talk about why the service desk is so important in the enterprise. The service desk is where IT does most of their engagements with end users and is a key component to keeping end users productive. In 2019, 63% of companies had over a thousand service requests each month. This shows that the service desk is a trusted resource for end users who need help from their IT teams. With the shift to more remote work, we expect those numbers to increase. End users can no longer turn to a deskmate for help, so instead, they're turning to their service desk. And with so many requests going through the service desk, it's imperative that IT can respond quickly and efficiently. In 2019, the average IT service desk cost per request was eight US dollars. And of those thousand plus interactions, 83% were resolved without the end user needing to reach out for additional help. Today, I'm going to show you some of the tools that Chrome provides that you can use to streamline your service desk support for Chrome browser to improve the cost per interaction and first time resolution percentages in your organization. A large part of service desk work is troubleshooting. To help manage your Chrome deployments, we released Chrome Browser Cloud Management, which provides an easy way to manage deployments of any size centrally from the cloud across Windows, Mac, and Linux from the same console where an enterprise can manage other Google services, including Chrome devices and G Suite. The good news is that it's easy to implement. For your service desk, it's extremely helpful because you'll also gain deeper insights into your deployment. Administrators can get information on specific devices, like what type of machine it is, the version of Chrome on the device, and the policies and extensions installed. The information that you can get makes it much easier for service desks to help troubleshoot. Chrome Browser Cloud Management lets you drill into the details of a specific browser to help you troubleshoot. When you've got thousands of managed browsers, how do you find the one you're looking for? Using the search function, you can search by machine name, user, machine user, asset ID, and a bunch of other fields. If you've got a service desk ticket from a specific user, the easiest thing to do may be to search by that user. Now you've found the right machine, you can use the information and options available on the browser details page to help find the source of the problem. For instance, does this machine have the right policies applied? You could ask the user to send you a screenshot of their Chrome colon slash slash policy page, but it's a lot easier to have a look at the apply browser policies section right here in the browser details page in Chrome Browser Cloud Management. Here, you can see all the policies applied on the user's browser, including how they were applied and their status. If something doesn't look right, you can check when last this machine fetched policy from the cloud and when last this report was updated. And whether this machine is in the right organizational unit. 
If either of these two is significantly out of date, there may be a network issue on the client side. To double check the settings for a particular organizational unit, you can click on it and head over to the settings page. Another common source of issues for end users is extensions. Here, you can check which extensions are installed on the user's browser, and similarly, you can see how they were installed and whether there are any issues. For example, if the extension needs an update, you can tell right away. If there's an extension on there that's suspicious or that you don't want users to have access to, you can block it straight away. It's also possible that the user may have too many extensions. If Chrome is having performance issues, that may be the cause. It's also important that the user's browser is up to date. To be sure they've got all the latest patches and security fixes, make sure their browser version is the most recent. If it's not, again, you can check the policy settings. But it's likely that they may just need to restart their browser for a new version to take effect. At the moment, you can force a restart by using the relaunch notification policy. Soon, we'll be adding new controls to the admin console to let you carry out more commands remotely. The most common browser issues are resolved by clearing browser data like cache and cookies. You could ask the end user to do this, but many of them aren't familiar with the process. So we're adding this command to Chrome Browser Cloud Management. Soon, you'll be able to select a profile and choose to clear browser data right from the browser details page. We'll also be adding the ability to restart that browser from this page, so you don't have to go back to the settings page to do so. If you're interested in being one of the first to try our new remote commands feature, sign up for our trusted tester program. Like we said at the beginning, the service desk is vital to enterprise productivity. In order to keep your users productive, you need efficient solutions to the problems that interfere with their work. By using these tools provided by Chrome, you can help your service desk streamline their processes. Here's some information to help you get started. Feel free to take a screenshot of this slide for reference. I'll pause here so you can do that. Don't forget to register for this upcoming webinar, How IT Teams Can Man Maximize End User Productivity with Chrome Enterprise, on Wednesday, the 22nd of July. Thank you for joining.